Guys, all I have to say is what the heck is going on with the iPhone 7 all right now? I did a video earlier this year, the double I swy, you guys already know, I talked about whether this phone was still worth it in 2019, and I pretty much stated that it was worth it. I think it's still a very tremendous device. You know, the power is impeccable. They're not extremely expensive anymore, and they still have a lot of power for what they're basically offering. But it's like every single day I see and hear new things and issues with the iPhone 7. And if you remember not too long ago, I made a video about basically the most problematic iPhone, the iPhone with the most amount of problems, and this was back in 2018. And I said the iPhone 7 was one of those iPhones, and since then a lot of things have died down. But it seems to me that a lot of these issues are still picking back up, and I'll tell you right now, there seems to be more and more issues that are coming now. The one specific issue I want to talk about, or the one that I wanted to talk about, was the audio chip issue. Basically what's going on, this is an article that I found everywhere, you can read it from 9to5Mac or whatever, but these articles are pretty much saying that the iPhone 7 has a loop disease issue, which means that there's an audio chip, something along the lines of it basically. And even if you pretty much like plug in your headphone jack or your whatever, that microphone will still not work on your device, which is insane. I don't even know how this problem even occurs, but apparently it's within the audio chip jack or whatever within the iPhone 7. Now, the issue of this is that this is a hardware issue and all these people are seeing these things from regular usage. So they're regularly using their iPhone 7 or whatever device. And apparently this occurs on the 7 Plus as well. So they're just using their iPhone 7 day to day and they're still seeing problems. And this problem is widespread enough for Apple to be sued. They're in two class action lawsuits for the iPhone 7, which is crazy. And the fact that this phone is affecting their 2019 Apple is pretty crazy because this phone came out in 2016. So the fact that it's affecting them now, these many years later, is pretty insane. And this kind of reminds me of the same thing last year that we saw with the iPhone success. If you remember with the success with the battery slowdown or whatever, that occurred last year. So it seems like every year, it's like next year we're going to see a problem with the iPhone 8 and then Apple's going to be sued again for something with those. I don't know, but so that was the main issue I wanted to talk about. Apparently another article from 9 to 5 Mac came out today. And apparently Apple is doing another repair for the iPhone 7 and this one is a no service complaint. So pretty much even if you add in your SIM card or whatever and you still see a no service sign, that could mean that you're eligible for that specific repair program. So I would go ahead and read that article. I'll tr remember, try to link it in the description, but you guys have the article name, you guys can look it up. But I would really recommend looking through that article, making sure, you know, if you're eligible or not for it, you might as well take advantage of it. If you're seeing your iPhone 7 with no signal or no service and you're putting in an accurate SIM card and all that stuff, then you will be good. You should be eligible for it. But those two cases, you know, I, this is pretty much all to say that there is a dilemma with the iPhone 7 in 2019. There's strange cases. It's weird that this phone is still being sold in the Apple Store, even though it's occurring so many problems and so many issues in so many people's lives. So I'm curious on what Apple is going to do with the two class action lawsuits, but apparently this no service thing is already there. It's a repair program. And I'm wondering why these issues are coming. Is it because of the lack of the headphone jack? That's probably not the case, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the future. But as of right now, I mean, I still think the iPhone 7 is a tremendous device. I've like literally besides these things, I really don't have any issues on mine besides the home button not working because I repaired the screen myself. But I'm curious on what's going to happen with this phone in the future. Apple will definitely stop selling it this year once the new iPhones come out, but that's pretty crazy in my opinion. But man, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.